Hi guys, um, it's uh, Thursday morning. Um, it doesn't look like morning, but it is morning. Uh, <laughs> and I've decided to make um, uh, well, to make to make a video about me trying to reorganize my collection. You saw my collection yesterday. Uh, I've uploaded a video. Hopefully, well, hopefully that you did. And um, as you know, it doesn't make much sense to anybody other than myself. And uh, I decided to organize it by genre. So, if you remember, there is no specific genre. There are some sections with electronic music, psychedelic music, and just a bunch of everything, which, is, which are these basically boxes. So, what I'm going to do is I will get rid of the box set session, uh, section, and the box sets will go under genres. So, the genres I have decided that I'm going to be using are sort of 60s, 70s, crowd rock, psychedelia kind of thing, then modern psychedelia, because I have quite a few of these, then indie and pop music, Japanese, uh, punk, jazz, uh, punk, punk jazz, no, sorry, punk, New Zealand and uh, Australian bands, uh, metal, uh, electronica, uh, soundtracks, and world and jazz. And uh, I think that should cover pretty much everything. So, yeah, uh, the idea is that I will begin the section with bands that I have more than one album of and finish it off with, you know, single albums and whatnot. So, yeah, I guess it's time to begin. I will post, and also I will be flipping the, uh, the two IKEA, so the 2x4 will go on top and the 4x4 will be on the bottom. I'll post some videos as I progress today. The time is uh, almost nine and we'll see when I finish. So, first bit of the job done. Uh, the 4x4 is empty. I will not empty the 2x4 completely anyway because I don't have a lot of floor space as you can see it's like filled up. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll take some records out, move it out because the next step is to put the 2x4 or the 4x4 in place so that I can start emptying the 2x4 and we'll take it from there. So now the 4x4 is in place. Yeah, so I didn't empty this one because yeah, I didn't need to, and I was running out of space anyway because I have like used up all the floor space I can. Uh, so good thing is I didn't have to empty it, but now I need to start filling this one up. So yeah. So before I begin, though, I think that what I need to do is accessorize, <laughs> as uh, Tudor would say. And the way that I'm going to accessorize this is by adding boxes. Now, this is not my idea. This is something that uh, Matthew Foster um, had a video on. He was saying, hey, we have all these boxes. What are we doing with them? Um, basically, <coughs> you can put them in the Expedit or you know, whatever this is called these days to block the records from going way back. So I'm going to pad these with boxes, empty ones, and um, yeah, before I actually load them up with records because yeah, it would be a bummer if I have to do it. I, I did it the first time, that's how I did it the first time. I filled it up with records and I was like, oh, maybe I should do that. Anyway, now I thought of it. So I am beginning, the, the, first, the first album uh, has hit the shelves, basically. So it's the box set, the 13th floor elevators uh, box set, and I also have a Sunday's mono version. I don't need it anymore, I don't know, I might keep it, I might sell it. But <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing this video is that I have started sorting out the stuff here, and I bumped into my first problem, so it's uh, Electric Wizard. Where do I file them? Is it metal? Is it psych? Is it... I don't know. I don't know, I'm confused. We'll see. So the time is uh, 10 o'clock. Um, it's quite better than I expected. Uh, famous last words, this might be, uh, might be easier than I initially thought. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, I've 
got some um, boxes in the back so that well oops I got that one so I need to do that uh, I got some boxes in the back I've put some records already in there so some of the easy ones uh, you know box set record box set records Parson sound it's not Parson sound it's uh, Chad, Chad Grass Ochstener so it's like sister band you know whatever so yeah sort of that makes sense then easy one just putting the Led Zeppelin here and oh hang on now that I think about it I have some Black Sabbath should I put them on the heavy metal section anyway <laughs> uh, yeah just thinking out loud anyway I've uh, as I said this is going to be 67 piece psych and whatnot so I've put all my records that I consider psychedelic in one sense or another. This is all crowd rock, so you get stuff like uh, Guru Guru, you get Mundu, you get stuff like Popol Vuh, these are the recent reissues, you should get them. Nino and Harmonia, Alex Squam, Klaus Schulze. Uh, more embryo, oh no, embryo actually here. Group in between, uh, Peter Hamill. Uh, I don't know, should I keep him there? I don't know, probably. Uh, Iblis, oh, that kind of stuff. And then this is more European, uh, so you have um, Nick Drake. Well, he's not entirely psychedelic, I, I, he's not psychedelic basically, but there you have it. Hawkwind, King Crimson, Brigitte Fontaine. Heldon, um, what's this? Um, oh, yeah, Sensations Fix, uh, Igor Wakevich, Lard Free, um, a bit of Italian stuff here, uh, Roberto Cazzafaglia, I don't think I have. Um, this guy, Brugnoli, uh, Futuro Antico, and T2. And these are like brands I have more than two records of. These are single ones, so you know, stuff like The Outsiders, uh, Rudiger Lawrence, uh, Mighty Baby, and then American stuff. So this is Funkadelic, could go either way there. <laughs> Captain Beefheart, uh, Little Chapman is British though, where did I put him here? Uh, Electric Prunes, uh, yeah, Gary Higgins and stuff like that. So. So, 12 o'clock update, uh, 4x4 is almost done, so I figured out what I'm going to be doing, I acted on it, so basically what you can see over there, it's 60s and 70s psych, so these are bands that I have, the way they ended up is <coughs> I have European stuff here and then American stuff there and the way it goes is two or more from a band they are on the left side and then as you go on then you get a single one so how it works is like this so you've got two Lorenz Van Eye, all right then you get Brigitte Fontaine I've added it to the 60-70 side because it's like that so uh, and then you go on to single ones like uh, Friends Machine, Alessandra Alessandroni. This could have gone on another segment as well, but ah, I put it here. Um, Mighty Baby and whatnot. And then you start off with American bands like Funkadelic, uh, Kim Foley, and. Yeah, and then it's all singles. Apparently I don't have that much of a discography from American bands. And then you go to Modern Psych, two or more albums, two or more albums, and then two or more albums, and then start singles, 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 and then indie. Indie, in a wider kind of sense, so Sonic Youth. As I said, these are my girlfriends. I hope these doesn't make sense to have them completely separate, so I just merge them with what I have. Uh, yeah, Kurt Weill, Beck, I don't know if you can see it, Fleet Foxes, White Lung, Atlas Sound, and then the Smiths, and then it's sort of in the 80s with Bauhaus, Nurse Wound, 
Well, it's not indie, but you get, yeah, it's a little bit darker this bit. And then we'll go on to indie, a modern kind of indie, and then electronica, which I will be filling out sort of soonish. So, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> the finished article, uh, well, almost finished, um, this is all filled up, pretty much. Um, there are some shelves there that are empty, which are going to be filled up with stuff that I want to sell. But, um, yeah, it's uh, almost done. Um, this is the 1x5, these are some records that I pulled out to sell at some point. And let me show you how it works. Um, so, yeah, these box sets obviously don't fit anywhere, so I've left them there. So, yeah, we have European Psych um, with well, 60s, 70s. Uh, you know, I've shown some of these. Um, do. Uh, Gunter Schickert, Obulvu, that kind of thing, uh, and then Embryo, and then these are artists that have just one of their albums. So I, I refer to them as singles, they're not singles, they're albums, but single LPs. And this is sort of crowd rockish. And then you go on to more European stuff like Brands uh, Van a bit of Hawkwind, a uh, bit of King Crimson, Brigitte Fontaine. All these are uh, more than one. Basically, I have more than one album. Uh, Serge Gainsbourg, Actuala. These sort of go together for Turantico and uh, Actuala, they are, make sense, uh, are free. And then these are European artists, but I have one album out of their collection, their, their output basically. So, yeah. Some of these could go in other sections, so I don't know, this one for example could go into jazz I guess. No, this one is definitely psych. This is, yeah, a little bit more library-ish kind of thing. So, yeah. And then you go into the American bands where you start off with Funkadelic, Vicky and the Stooges, uh, Captain Beefheart, Kim Foley, and then I don't have that much of a discography from American bands it seems because most of these are singles and then we go on to modern psych so I'll start off with uh, uh, Brian Jonestown's Ma Brown Brian Jonestown massacre chrome which could well go under punk but I think that they would prefer to be psych it is 70 is ish I think that um, yeah, Alien Soundtracks came out in 79? No, sorry. 78! Yeah, 78, 79. So it could go in the 70s section, but I chose to put it here. Loads of uh, Expo 70. Expo 70. have tons of these. Um, White Hills. Bardo Pond. On to Pnod. These are, are not very snug as you can see. There's like still room to put stuff in here. Some of them have more more room than others, but yeah. Uh, Koza Sui, uh, Cosmic Dead, Pala. You sort of get what's going on here. Hookworms. This is a new one, but I chose to put it here. Sylvester Anfang, Spaceman 3, some of the stuff from this point, Spaceman 3, Bill Birth, more 
earth. And more of earth here. <laughs> Loads of earth. Uh, I I uh, decided to leave Electric Wizard in the psych section rather than the metal section because it sort of made sense to have sun and earth, sun, earth, and Electric Wizard. And then swans, so it's like you know, it gets noisy in this bit. And then more more stuff here. So you have uh, right on to right on albums I own, uh, Rackmeister harmonies, the afflicted man. This one, yeah, could go in electronic, but left here. Uh, om, oh no, sorry, this is KG Heino and Ambarchi. These are like Ambarchi albums. Goat, uh, Caribou, Sanaro, Laminanas, Dead Sea, Electric Moon, things like that. Then, go on here. Uh, these are single albums, so I have only one. Endless Boogie, uh, Ayahuasca, Wu. KTL, I've shown this recently, Krakatoa, Sleepy Sun, Mountains, 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 this is Immunity, Immunity, no, no, what is this, LP, don't remember what this is, I know what it is, you know, genre wise, but I don't remember what it is, I need to pick it up, this is really good, Electroid. And sort of psych ends up around here where Sonic Youth starts. So Sonic Youth I have the box set, I have Ripper Street, I have uh, this one is Eternal. It's their last album, I don't remember. And then go into indie uh, indie stuff, so Beirut, Arctic Monkeys, which I've said these are my girlfriend's albums, but you know I merged them with mine. And conveniently I've put Beach House, which she likes. These are mine, <laughs> but she likes them, so I've put them together so she can find them. She's always complaining, oh, I don't find things where you put them. Yeah, well, don't look for them, that's why. But anyway, different story. Tom Waits, uh, uh, Low, uh, yeah, coding, uh, box set, Atlas Sound. Pixies, The Smiths, there's a gap here, you might have noticed, um, yeah, so I w as I was filling up the shelves, I got this one, so I haven't opened, opened this yet, because uh, I needed to finish up the work, and yeah, so this is going to go here, which and then we go on to our sort of 80s, uh, you know, uh, swing of things with Have a Nice Day. And after that, it's going, it's going to Bauhaus, uh, Bauhaus, 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 um, Can Dance, um, Cocktail Twins, Talk Talk, Nurse with Wounds. They're not very indie, but their 80s and you know sort of makes sense in a way and then uh, Bremen and uh, the Bremen and uh, the Brain Bombs which are side projects all these sort of make sense to be together and then we'll go on here where the, there's more a little bit more an overflow from the previous shell so we have certain ratio and Echo and the Bunny Man Galaxy 500 and um, that's it from bands that I have more than one album and then it sort of goes on to single albums again so N59, Dear Who, Starfuckers which is not very well known but really good album, Place of Strangers, maybe Current Suppression Ring, John Cash, why not, Still Corners, National, Pile of Nothing, 
And then we'll go on to electronic music. Heads, really good compilation. Anthony Camplone, if you're watching, you know what I'm talking about. It's integration loops. Uh, bit of uh, Canada, between Bajas, La Raji. Kept him in the electronic stuff, I don't know why. Umberto, Axel Cloak, this kind of thing. Arve Hendrickson, the, the box set, solidification. Really good stuff. Uh, C feel and music and more more stuff here. So it's less snug, still space to put stuff. All the Japanese albums I have, Japanese artists. So well, love life. Uh, love will make a better you. Love life. And, yeah, love life and plus one that kind of stuff. Get the gist. Get the gist of what's happening here. Compilations. Nothing has changed here. Ten inches. Punk. New Zealand. Australia. All together. Off. Here. Uh, Post-punk. New wave. No, well, post-punk. Punk. Australian. I need to put. Oh yeah. Cosmic cycles. The sound. Uh, yeah, Glenn Branca, that kind of thing, and then soundtracks, and then some, well, almost electronic, a little bit poppier kind of albums like Daft Punk, like Glad and Raid, things like that. And the top uh, two box sets, one is, uh, I put it upside down, Miles Davis, uh, Jack Johnson sessions, CDs, because I have some CDs, I haven't recorded with CDs yet. And this is the Albert Ayler, Ayler uh, CD box set. So yeah, and here's where things for sale are going to go. I need to review what I have with this box. Um, oh yeah, hang on, there's more boxes here. Oh, some more records that are going to probably go for sale. Uh, the metal selection here, just metal albums. Then you go on to Brazilian albums, so Marco Valen, that kind of stuff. And then you go on here, where it's more experimental stuff, like Mertens, Paulino Oliveiros, Colin Stetson, Charlie, Charlie Nothing, um, Picarixen, sorry. But the angle is not very good and then you go on to African stuff like uh, Mulatu, Stake, uh, Phil Cochran, Nigeria 70, B BLO and then Jazz so we get Miles Davis, Don Cherry, Alex Coltrane Afro Heart thing, sorry, apologies for that. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that kind of thing. So, yeah, and that's it. That is the reorganization. Um, as I said, sad news. Um, uh, good news is that I finished it. Sad news is I'm out of space again. I need to sell some records, which I'm going to be doing. For the rest of the day just sorting out stuff and you know, listening to things and you know, that kind of thing anyway um hope you enjoyed uh, leave a comment um you know like the video unlike the video uh subscribe unsubscribe or stay subscribed as uh, ben said and um yeah i will be seeing you around <laughs>